All right. Well, here's the information session and I am going to kick us off uh, real quick. And Brett and I are going to tag team tonight and then we are going to answer lots of questions. So feel free to ask questions in the chat as we go. Um, I think I recognize a lot of names, but we always know that this event attracts some new folks to GDI, which is fantastic. Um, so real quick, just who we are. So we are a nonprofit organization. Our mission is to create welcoming, supportive opportunities for women and non-binary adults to learn software development skills. Um, we believe that we do this nowhere better than this event uh, since uh, we learn throughout the year in so many ways, but it's so nothing does more to teach and learn and build confidence than to build a project in three days. Um, and that's what this event does. Um, all of our events have a couple rules and this event is no, uh, no is, falls along that same lines. So here's a couple of our event goals and roles. So one, our goal here is that you're gonna meet some new people, some amazing new people, and you're gonna build a community. You're gonna walk away with not just building a project, but a network of folks who are similar to you, who are learning and jumping into tech, um, who you can lean on. And I know there's some folks here from last year, and I know that uh, some of the folks have created some amazing friendships and partnerships um, throughout their practice with us. Um, you're going to learn, you're going to level up your skills during this event. Um, this event is really designed for you to use, put some stuff that you've used to good use and then push yourself to go a little further and learn from mentors and peers and see what you can do. Most importantly, this event is fun. I know that sounds kind of cliche, but we do mean it. We have fun at this event. We've got fun prizes. We give away fun awards for just all kinds of things, including just showing up, which is such a big part of this journey for so many people here. And we're just so thankful you're all here. Um, we also really ask for no matter how many times that everyone asks questions. So no matter where you are on your journey and learning, we are here to help. Um, Brenda is one of our most amazing leaders and mentors and teachers, and she will spend hours on the phone with somebody just making sure that you understand this piece of code or how to use Git. Um, she is really impressive with that, and she represents so many of our mentors that volunteer their time just to make sure, because everyone's been in your shoes. And that's the thing we always want to tell everybody. Everyone's been learning. Everyone went to their first hackathon. Um, so ask the questions, raise your hand, um, and practice coding, build projects. Um, the other thing is that we work really hard, even though we're in a virtual environment, we're all over the world and bring different things with us to respect each other and to follow our code of conduct. Um, we want to make sure that this is a safe, caring, welcoming environment. And if at any point you don't feel that way, please let us know. We take that very seriously. Uh, but then also know that we all we all have lives and, and things going on. Um, I have a child on the floor right now behind me, and I'm sure many of you do too. Um, and that's what we do here. And that's okay. We want you to tell us that I have to step away for bedtime and I have to take a break to feed my children for dinner. That is, you should bring that with you to everything you do at this hackathon today, uh, this week and next week, whatever we're going to do it. Um, and definitely use that to your advantage. It's not something that should hold you back. It's something that should really push you forward during this time. Anything else on event goals, Brenda? Um, I remember at my very first hackathon, somebody gave me this little quote, which was, uh, questions are the currency of collaboration. So right. it's not just a hackathon that we ask questions. Like I, I just started this new job eight weeks ago and I'm still asking a lot of questions. So we really want you to be flexing that muscle, asking questions of your peers, asking questions of your mentors, um, in the Q and A sessions, which Katie will, or not in the sessions where there is Q and A, Katie will tell you more about the sessions that are coming up, but definitely ask questions in those too. So use that, use this opportunity to, to practice. Amazing. I love that quote. And we always want to thank our sponsors. We have some really cool sponsors. I'll tell you more about it. Um, but we have some amazing folks like Amazon and ServiceNow um, and T-Mobile who are helping us out. Okay. So let's jump right in and talk a little bit about what to expect. First of all, I think this is important because I think so many folks are new that what actually is a hackathon? What are we doing together? I know some folks are probably convinced to come here and they're not exactly sure what we're doing. <laughs> um, so real quick, here's just a definition that this hackathon is an event where software developers collaborate intensely on projects for a dedicated amount of time. And I think, you know, Brenda, I'll let you speak to this, but this really is designed to help you feel like what it is to work on a team at, at a technology team. And I know, Brenda, you had a big project coming up. It kind of feels like the same environment. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I think for folks who are just learning to code or maybe you just did your boot camp or you just did a class, like this is a really awesome opportunity to practice those skills in the context of collaboration because 
most people don't code alone. We're on these big teams trying to do these projects together. Um, and so it's really great to find a group of people to collaborate with on the same timeline. So you get that experience and you can take that into the next couple experiences that you wanna have. And I think one thing we hear a lot too, like I know we worked with a recruiter this year who was talking about hiring and part of the hiring process was even um, a hackathon. So I think it's really cool that, you know, to really, this is sort of a simulation of real life and it really helps you build that confidence and also get some of that, um, you know, real energy that you're gonna see. I see a couple questions coming in just to pause to answer them. You know, I do not believe this records in closed caption because we're on a, a, a system called Bevy, but I will double check on that and I apologize if that's a challenge. Um, and definitely UX and UI, every team is gonna want a UX and UI designer. So all the things that we'll talk about your skills and how to build teams in a little bit, but yes, you're, everyone is gonna have a place and a role in this. Um, so a couple of things just kind of to talk about how this event is focused and some of the things that you're gonna learn and grow. I kind of pulled out four words here, learning, collaboration, challenge, and community. Um, uh, I love the question just came in. What if you've never coded? Uh, let's talk about that because we're going to, that is great. You're welcome here. And you, by the time you leave here, you're going to be so impressed with what you were able to learn. <laughs> That's a perfectly timed question. So let's talk about learning. Uh, so a couple of things that we um, really believe in here. Again, we are, we want you, if this is your first day, your first year, your first month, uh, you're 10 years into coding, whatever that is, you are welcome here in this event. Um, we have a couple of events that were pre-events that we're doing to kind of prep. So on our website, you will see there are links to all of these sort of prep hackathon events. So we kick it off this weekend with this Git and GitHub for hackathons. And Brenda, do you want to share a little bit about what to expect at that event? Oh, yes. This is going to be uh, a great experience for those who are looking to collaborate with code um, in the future or those who want to get familiar with this. Um, but Git and GitHub are used for code collaboration. Um, there's other models as well, but I think Git and GitHub are like at least 80% of the market and there's a ton of open source work on GitHub. Um, so if you want help getting set up, if you wanna learn how to collaborate, how to use Git and GitHub, if you want a refresher on the basics, this is a great session for you to just go through the steps with a group. We've got a great teacher for that. Yeah, amazing. So it's definitely, again, like these are the, you don't need to know all this at this point. We're going to help you through it. And that's the tone you'll hear throughout the event. So even all the questions we're getting, we're going to explain each of these steps for you. You don't have to know. The bar here is super um, welcoming and low. So don't worry about all the things. Um, so I think, Jennifer, so your question will come up now about we are hosting an event that actually I think Brenda um, coined this term, <laughs> install a -thon, and that's going to be on the 14th. Um, Brenda, can you tell us what about that event? Yeah, so I think this answers Dweepanita's and Jennifer's questions. So for the hackathon, you'll be working with a group. So you will um, pick the languages, you'll pick the platforms to code in. Um, we don't have a project that you can SSH into. Um, you'll have to build a project yourself and demo it. And the installathon is a little event to help you get all of um, a core set of installations ready. You don't have to use the ones we recommend at the installathon, but we'll help you troubleshoot. Um, I think it's a, a node application and um, help you get some packages that will be really helpful for collaboration. Again, you can use anything you want, but if you want a small set of recommended tools, you can come to the installathon, especially if you've never um, coded with other people before. This will just help you get started with everything you need. Great. Thanks, Brenda. And yeah, and it's a great event. And again, all these things are just designed to sort of get you prepped and ready. So you don't have to come to any of them, but they're definitely here for you to make sure that you have the tools you need. And then also on the 14th, we'll be hosting a mentor inf information session. And this is for folks that we're recruiting quite a bit of mentors to join the hackathon. So throughout the event, we have both options for some mentors to be embedded in groups, or maybe sometimes they're a more experienced coder with a group. We also will have help stations and help desks open up on Slack where you can just poke someone a quick question. Um, and then we have some specific workshops and other things set up where you can actually come and like get help with your visuals or something else that you're working on. So 
the mentors are a big part of this event and a big part of your learning experience. Um, and they're going to help you every step of the way from, you know, focusing your project to completing your project and pushing it live. Um, and then on the 15th, we do our first idea generation and team formation. And this is really where we start to say, what do we want to build? You know, what do we want to do? Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, but, you know, this is really each team again, like Renda said, will decide, you know, I want to build an app for this and I'm going to code it in JavaScript or I'm going to use Python. And then the team kind of builds around that original concept and you grab the folks of, okay, well, I, I'm really great at Python, but man, I'm not so good at UX or I just can't do presentations and you kind of work together to pull that in. So again, we'll talk about that a little bit more. And then on the 16th, we kick off our hackathon and uh, we'll talk a bit more about what that looks like. I also want to mention that Katie Bryden has joined us and Katie um, has been doing an amazing job of putting your agenda together for all the other workshops and sessions that we'll have. So I know she, I don't know if she's online. I know she's here. I'm not sure if she's on, she might be in her car. So, oh, there she is. I know I'm here. I had another meeting, but I'm so glad. And I'm, uh, I'm really thrilled. This is so exciting. We're here. It's happening. Hackathon. I know. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to um, share something real quick with you. So I've gone over to our um, hackathon website real quick. I just want to show everyone how to see the agenda for day to day. So this very simply is just our GDI website. If you scroll down past the, um, the registration forms and all of the kind of basic information, you'll see some of our speakers and this list is growing daily. Um, and then down here, you'll see our agenda. So each, each day that we have some content, we have a tab here for each day. You can see what's on the main stage. So for example, on the 16th at 12, 15 p.m. And this is East Coast time. Just to be clear, this is, so in, this is 9 a.m. West Coast time, Pacific time. Um, we are gonna kick off this with a panel conversations about innovations and opportunities, a healthcare panel. So we're gonna talk about the intersection between healthcare and IT. And we have some amazing speakers who are gonna talk about their experiences. Um, and then at 1.15, we'll do another team pitch to kind of help keep your folks building teams. We'll have a career path conversation in the afternoon with some really great folks about what they've been doing. And then we have this amazing technical workshop about building web apps in Python. And this um, woman, Pamela Fox, uh, is an amazing instructor. She teaches at um, University of South Southern California. She's been teaching for a long time. She's a longtime GDI founder, volunteer, instructor, you name it. Um, and it's going to do a really quick hour and a half long getting your apps up. So we put this here specifically because we know a lot of folks like to build apps. We know folks, and that might be your idea. So if you're already thinking this is your idea, you might want to hop into this workshop and get a quick tutorial on how to make that happen real quick. So we're kind of trying to stack this with, you know, some folks may just want to come and talk about careers and learn more about different pathways. And some folks might want to jump into Python and how to uh, build an app. These are your options. Um, so it's a bit of a, a workshop with some um, conference kind of style stuff behind it. We have another career conversation on Wednesday, on Thursday. This is a really cool um, stay opportunity ready. That's a sort of like a meet the recruiters <laughs> session that really lets you kind of learn and talk to some recruiters. And then Pamela is doing another really cool tech session. So throughout this, teams might be working. Not everyone might be in these workshops, but we wanted to build some other content around it to make sure that you had what you might need. And then on um, the 19th at two o'clock is when we start doing our presentations. And this will be each group will have about, depending on how many groups we have, we'll give a lot more information about that, but anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes to present, um, to give us a demo to the judges. And then we do an award ceremony at 4 p.m. East Coast. So it's a quick moving day. There's some really fun content. I definitely encourage you to check this out, um, but it's uh, a really, you know, we try to really build this all out. And then the event itself, when it starts, you can click right here and it will take you directly to that, that link to get into the event every day. So everything's right on our website. It's super easy to navigate. So I just wanted to, to do that real quick. Any other thoughts in those workshops or anything, Brenda or Katie? Uh, yeah, but um, we'll talk about um, team formation in a little bit, but just think about that demo day because we will want a representative from your team. So. I saw, um, Dweepanita, you're, I think you said you were in, in India, um, but we have folks from around, <laughs> across time zones here. So um, if some of you can't make it, but you wanna contribute kind of asynchronously or just a little bit here and there, that's amazing. 
um, just make sure you have someone on your team who can present your project at demo day because we'll have uh, live presentations. Is that right, Katie? Yes, we will. Live yes. presentations. It is very fun. It's very fast uh, with some really cool judges. So definitely it will be a super fun day. Uh, a little nerve wracking at times, but that's also part of the, the amazing process. It's also so inspiring. Like, like it, you have to go through it to experience it, but it is just an over an hour of inspiration from folks who at the beginning of the hackathon had questions like, am I going to be ready to do this? Am I going to be able to participate? And what the creativity and um, what people put together with the power of teamwork is, is going to be so cool. So I encourage you all to present, attend, cheer for each other, and uh, get ready to build something you're really proud of and then also be inspired. Amazing. Um, hey, Brian, I am going to, my computer just said it didn't want me to share anymore. So I'm going to send this to you real quick. Sure thing. If you don't mind sharing your, this, uh, the deck. Sorry about that. My computer didn't like my fancy. Let's go to the website and look at it and come on. <laughs> you can only do one thing at a time. You got real mad at Always. me. Always. <laughs> Problem. Um, I love it. Um, so as you're doing that, the next thing I just do want to talk about, we will, let's talk about the idea generation session a little bit, because I know so many questions about this of how do I join a team? Does anybody want me? I feel like I'm in high school and it's like they're playing kickball and no one's going to pick me for their side. Like, um, so this is how this works. It works really differently here. Um, we really encourage everyone to come up with their own ideas. Like if you have an idea that's been in the back of your brain, um, where you just really want to jump in there and build an app to help kids to read, or you've been really thinking about, we need better recycling in our town and different options for composting, whatever that looks like. You know, you kind of start off with, and I, we'll show you a slide when we get this up, where you kind of say, you know, we, we've opened up the Slack channel, we're gonna have the idea formation event. You start saying, you know, and in that event, we'll say, who's got an idea? Who's got a lightning pitch? Get up there for a minute and say, I'm Katie and I really wanna do an app to help kids to read. And then we say, great, let's, who wants to meet with Katie? And we open up a Zoom room and then you go over and you say, okay, we, we do about 10 of those and everyone gets a chance to, um, thanks Katie. <laughs> <laughs> if you can move forward to uh, the collaboration slide, that'd be great. Um, and then in that area, everyone really gets a chance to say, you know, we come up with 10, 15 ideas, people get together, they say, nah, I actually wanna learn more about this or I wanna jump over here. Or, let's combine our two ideas. Um, and, uh, if you go, go to one more, um, down Katie, one, the next slide down, we put like a little, like this kind of how it went last year, you know, someone kind of jumps into Slack or jumps into the chat and says, this is my idea. And someone says, oh, I love it. Let's do it. Well, I have front end, who else could do this? Well, I could do that. You know, you kind of, it happens organically and we'll do it again on the, uh, we'll do it on the 15th or the 14th. I think I said beforehand, and then we'll run it again. So we'll keep giving people chances to jump in and join teams. Um, I know, uh, Brenda, do you want to talk a little bit about this? Yeah, we don't expect you to have uh, a team coming in. We expect you to use this opportunity to meet new people. So we will facilitate some of that team forming. There will be a Slack channel where you can do that too asynchronously. Um, and it's, it's just going to be a great opportunity to meet new folks. Uh, is there a theme? Lucy says, yes, the theme is health and wellness. However, you are welcome to build whatever inspires you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we love a good theme, but also we really want people, we want you to work on a project that you love. So we don't want to, you know, have you do a project that you're just super bored by. We've got, you know, um, but so really whatever you get passionate about, whatever you're excited about and throw it out there. And you might find that maybe that's not what you want to do when someone else throws out an idea that's more exciting to you. And you want, I'm not going to do mine. I want to jump over here. And that is fine. That is fine. People can do the same ideas. We can have four people working on the same kind of app, four different teams. We are super flexible. We just really want you to be able to build a project. Um, Katie, if you can go to the next slide. You know, this is just a fun little checklist. Brenda, you want to talk about this? Oh yes. Yeah. So um, when you're thinking about how to, I was alluding to this before, when you're thinking about who you need on your team, you definitely want to have these folks represented uh, at least one front end person, one back end person, somebody who's going to manage or lead the project. So this person doesn't have to be online the whole time, but they should probably be the point person to talk to us, make sure your, um, 
your timeline is on track, make sure you're ready to demo, make sure you have everyone you need. Um, uh, let me think what else. And uh, a presenter, you need a presenter in the time zone for the live demo. And for those of you, I saw that, um, I think it was Jennifer who, yes, Jennifer says only available on the 19th, no problem, just communicate that with your team. And that's an opportunity to say, hey, I can do, I can do back end on the 19th, but I'm only available on the 19th. Maybe you want another back end person for the other days then. So think about, get together as a team, figure out what is your availability, communicate with each other, and make sure you have enough coverage for these couple of roles. Yeah. And I think that, you know, just, I'm a, so guilty of this, um, of sort of being like, oh yeah, I could do that too. And I can handle that, but definitely, you know, feel, do not take on more than you can handle over those days. If you've got a work obligation, a big work meeting, your kids are off school half day, like mine are tomorrow, <laughs> whatever that looks like, you know, definitely please, um, be clear with your team. Like I have the 19th and, you know, so I can probably be a really good person for last minute running through bugs. That kind of stuff is everyone needs a contributor on all those levels. You know, and Noelle, it's a great question about, can you contribute outside of team days and hours? You as a team are going to set those hours, right? So you're going to say, yes, I'm going to work tonight. I have two hours from nine to 10 o'clock at nine to 11 o'clock at night, where I'm going to do my piece and send it to the team on time. Um, so I think that do not feel like you have to, you don't you have to sit there only in the hours of the hackathon and work. We're letting you. We want really want you to work when that when that matters to you. Um, missing team members for stance. Yeah, we have some questions from Sujin and Heidi. So Sujin's question is: Have you te seen teams progress while missing? Any of these team members maybe couldn't find a front end member. That is possible. Um, I, I see, think if you can't find a front end person, that's probably the trickiest. Although I think our community is mostly front end people. So hopefully you won't have that challenge. Um, but I have seen at other hackathons demos of non front end uh, applications. Like for example, I was at an at t hackathon where somebody showed uh, a little application where um, every time she finished building her application, it sent her a text message. And she was able to demo that live and it was really cool. It came to her phone. So um, yeah, I mean, I think you can get creative about how you want to present. And um, if you can't find one of these folks, uh, just think about how to put together that application and demo. But I, I think you'll be able to do it. And then Heidi asked about finding a team to contribute with. Do you want to talk about that, Katie, or do you want me to take it? You can take it. Oh yeah. Um, so Heidi, uh, nobody here has a team yet to my knowledge. So um, definitely come to the team formation events. We have one before the hackathon and we have one right at the beginning of the hackathon for those who are still looking for a team. And then also join the Slack channel because I think people will be pitching their ideas in Slack too. Yeah, absolutely. And don't be shy, right? Like everybody needs somebody to contribute. Even if you don't know how to code and you're just learning and this is your first hackathon, maybe what you could do is you can put together the demo with the presentation and three slides for the end, um, you know, or you could be the project manager and host the meetings and find out when people are available. I mean, there is a role for everybody and you don't have to be the person who did all the, who like designed all the front end to say, I win the prize. You just need to help and support that team for whatever that looks like. So definitely feel free um, to do that. And maybe just write one line of code, like get in there with some CSS, edit a little bit of yeah. HTML. Uh, we really believe in your ability to contribute here. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and Katie, if you want to go forward, we'll talk about the challenge and sort of what we're asking, where we are asking, we will be looking for the teams to, to do some coding. Um, go, well, yeah. So. When we, when we do decide on the winning prizes, we are looking for some code, not just some um, decks. Um, we are, um, you know, the prizes, the, there is a deadline. It is on Saturday. Um, we will be having the, those presentations. So I think we said two o'clock Eastern time is when we'll start for two hours. Mm -hmm. So that will be the deadline. There is the cutoff button. You got to come with it. Uh, but then also, you know, there's, it's great to win the top prize, but we have so many kinds of prizes and awards, everything like last year, I was just looking at some of our prizes from last year and we had creativity, we had crowd pleaser, we had, I need it on my phone tomorrow apps, all that kind of stuff. So there's, we're going to have a lot of fun with the prizes and we're going to recognize for whatever you can do, but we are looking um, for you all to code. 
A um, couple quick questions are coming in. Yes, we are recording this um, in all of our meetings. So if you can't make any of our sessions, we will record them and send them out when you register. Um, what else do we have in here, Brenda? I see a couple other questions coming in. Sorry, um, the question was, does everyone, I think, does everyone have to be uh, present to present? No, just find somebody to present. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, just to clarify, when we're saying code, that could be a pure front end application to the question before, it could be a pure back end application. Um, it could be uh, some, some fancy spreadsheet formulas where you're showing off your data transformation skills. What we don't wanna see is pure PowerPoint, pure Google Slides. Cool. And yes, for Slack, it is the hack for health. Um, I had, I'm going to drop this in here again, the invite. Most everyone on this call received an email invite to this channel um, to before getting on here. But here is the invite again, in case you can't find us. And what we will do is you'll see we'll start to build out once we have team forms, each team will have their own channel. Um, so you might have the, you know, you know, wearable app prize and you people can say, oh, and I want to join them and all that kind of stuff. So you'll see a lot of chatter in there that will start up over the next couple of days. But again, it's not starting yet. So don't feel like you missed anything. We're just, this is our very first conversation about it, our event this year. Okay. Anything else on under the challenge concept, Brenda, we want to talk about? Yes. There aren't just prizes for winning. <laughs> There's a lot of little surprises throughout the event. So we really encourage you to come participate, engage. Like there's so much to be said for just showing up. First of all, you signed up for this. Um, you're putting yourself out there to meet new people, to find a team, to try something new. That's amazing. Um, and we're definitely going to have prizes for folks for just like engaging and participating. Um, and we've had a whole team putting together prizes. So, so please, uh, please don't worry about the goal just being like to get some kind of like top place or something like that. Um, there's going to be a lot of fun little surprises throughout the event. Cool. Any other thoughts, Katie, on that? No. All right. So I wanted to, I couldn't, um, I was looking for, a, I have some slide decks from some of the winners last year, just to give some examples. Um, I know I, we will share more as we go on. Maybe we'll put some in the Slack channel just so folks can kind of get an idea of some really good prizes. I know the one that stood out to me a lot last year at one, our best design pro project was a project that was set very simply a tarot card reading um, app that just had this beautiful design element and they, the, it really ran the cards and pulled them up for you and gave you descriptions. So just a really simple, it was, simple but beautiful and amazingly executed and just really great event. So I don't know anything else that either of you two remember or anyone else on the call that was here last year that wants to share about any a great of the great projects that were built last year. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. You yeah. can? Yeah. Oh, I wasn't sure if I was muted or not. Um, <clears throat> yes, I think about this app uh, design that all the time. It was an app that was created to actually take all the clothes that are in your closet, just like in the movie Clueless, and have you go through which outfits, which tops match, which bottoms based on the weather, based on how to pair things. That was, you know, front end, just simply looking at the visuals of how that would all come together. But it was fun and it was super I think reminiscent of all of us what we thought the future would be like and how we thought we'd be living um and I thought that that team did a really good job sort of working together to show even if it didn't um have every everything finished which um I think is the point right is that we're having fun we're exploring we're seeing the potential of what could come out of it yeah that was a great one yeah so cool so I think that the next thing just to talk about for a second, you know, working together is a goal. And Katie, if you can move forward to like the next two slides, you know, I think that um, you can keep going right up to, uh, yeah, the next one there. The, a big part of this is realizing that in any tech environment we're going to work in, it's very infrequent. And Brenda, tell me if I'm wrong, because you're the expert here, but nobody does it by themselves, right? Like there's no 
app or nothing that was always built by one human, that there's always multiple people adding their elements and their pieces into what we build. But that doesn't mean that working together is like super easy. Like you might need to work for two hours and somebody else. So I think the thing here we just want to say is that have fun in the working together, embrace it a little bit. It's always a little bit messier than we wish it was, but man, we can do so much more. And I think being able to talk about this experience at your next interview or the next time you go forward is really going to be able to help you um, really explore and be able to talk about how tech teams really work in the real world. So I don't know if you want to um, talk about that at all, Brenda. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's just so many aspects of the experience and what you might learn and take away. I mean, there is the coding part, there is the collaboration part, there's so much problem solving too. And these are all experiences that you might get to take into that interview when they ask you about what was a, a, a challenge that you had to work through on a team. This might be your opportunity to, to get that experience to tell that story or what was um, put yourself out there and tried something new and really challenge yourself. Maybe it'll be this hackathon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Um, and then I guess the next slide is just a little bit about really just how to crush this thing and how to kind of approach it with the right mindset. Um, this achievable projects is a big deal and demo making sure something is demoable. I don't know if that's a word, but Brenda said it today and I wrote it down and it feels like it's a word now. Um, so, you know, when you get into the thing, like, like you, for example, Katie was just describing the closet, like it was an amazing idea. Right. But maybe an achievable project might've been just shoes. Like, you know, just to focus on like one piece of the puzzle and make sure that you could get it done. So you might have a bigger dream, but then you have to say, okay, what can I do in the next, two, you know, two, 48 hours? And what is that going to look like? So is it, you know, a full, you know, everything I ever wanted or just a piece that I can really deliver on and be able to demo? Anything there, Brenda? Yeah, I mean, I was thinking about this today and it's, it's just such a theme of tech is like you go into something and you're like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And I, I was guilty of this recently. Like, oh, this is going to be so easy. Well, like three <laughs> long days later, it's still not done. So <laughs> definitely think about that going into this hackathon. There's no shame in, because you get to pick the idea. You could scope it down to just the essence. Don't worry about things like logging and all the errors and, and all the different like user paths. Just pick one core path that you're gonna show the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. I think the other thing, you know, find that team, you know, be really clear about your availability, be clear about your skills. You know, I know we're talking here, like you can already tell that we're we're nervous about what we know. You know so much, uh, whether it's one, again, you've taken two classes, one classes, um, whatever that feels like, uh, you're guaranteed you're an asset to a team. So jump in, volunteer for a team, ask questions, come up with your own idea, invite people to join you. Do not be shy. Um, I also would say use your mentors. You know, the mentors are such a huge piece of this. Uh, they're here to help. They're here to guide everything from, eh, it's not going to work. Why don't you try this? Why don't you try that? Um, they really are amazing. You know, and the other one, I'll let you take this one, uh, Brenda, the standing, you know, using this open source, using what's out there in the world. Yes, you do not have to build everything from scratch. You go out there, find a library, find a project that someone else started, um, use something that you've read or seen somewhere else. It's totally okay. Please borrow from other, um, other places, other people. You don't have to make everything yourself definitely not. That's not, that's not what this is about. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> you know, and I think, you know, we do say practice your demo, keep your eye on the clock. It is a timed thing, which is important. Uh, but definitely, uh, you know, practice the demo. We have some practice sessions on Friday and Saturday. If you want to come and, and meet with somebody and show it, I know some folks last year were really worried about showing their demo and, Oh, it's not perfect just show your demo. We love it. The, the judges are here to support you. A lot of them are the mentors who've been there throughout the week. So don't over be worried about that. Um, show us as far as you get. We're so proud that you got there and that you tried and that you showed up. So, you know, I think, and again, I think you're going to be amazed of what you can do and what you can put together. I know I'm still amazed at the project last year and talk about them all the time. Any other ideas of how to crush a hackathon? Um, I just want to let you know that um, I was there for 
uh, quite a quite a bit of the mentoring last year, and probably the number one thing that you'll hear from mentors is "you got this" or "let's figure this out together." I mean, the mentors like by far do not have all the answers. <laughs> Oftentimes, they're there to empower you to help discover the answer. Um, so don't be afraid of having questions, facing the unknown. That's, that's so much of what this process is about. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Cool. Well, I think those were our big, um, really big kind of points. I know there's a lot of questions coming in. Happy to answer some more. Um, as far as, you know, folks who maybe have trouble getting into this event or any of our events, you know, our website is sort of our link into all of our events. So just any, anytime you're on our website, you just quickly, you know, sort of, it's as simple as join virtual event and you click that button. It is a different system. It's built on top of Zoom, but it's not Zoom. So it does give some folks some hard times sometimes with different firewalls. So if that's a problem, there's a little question button in the top right of your screen. If you've gotten here, it's called help. And they'll test your audio and your visual and all the things here to make sure it works in here. Um, some of your, some of these pre-sessions will be held on a Zoom, especially when we have like breakout rooms for the idea formation. Um, so we'll kind of be in both spaces, but every time the, the emails that when you sign up for a class, we'll have the link to join that day. And we'll try to do our best um, to help you. But if you ever have trouble getting in, please feel free to Slack me or Katie Bryden or email us directly. We'll help, help you. We're really good at getting folks into our calls. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? I think folks have found that the Slack channel, if you haven't and you want me to email you, feel free to DM me your email. I did send it out via email. I will send it again if anyone didn't get it. So feel free to DM me or email, I'm gonna put my email address down here if you wanna um, just email me your email and I will make sure you get um, a personalized invite. There was a question about the mentor session that is only for mentors. You do not need to come um, if you're not mentoring. Thank you, Brenda, for answering that. Any other big questions? There, I think one of the questions might be about getting into the event. Um, there is not going to be like an ongoing live stream or anything like that. The only kind of like sessions that you could log into are the ones that are on that agenda. So like this session is one that you can join the video for. Other than that, we'll be in Slack. In Slack. Is that right, Katie? There's no like ongoing stream or anything like that? Correct. Yes. I mean, we do have meeting rooms. We encourage folks to meet in Slack and use like the huddle rooms. But if that's a struggle for anyone, we have plenty of Zoom accounts to share and we have meeting space within the event, which we could use. So we can work with each team to sort of help you navigate to find the right tools to meet as well. And Esther just asked how often we host these hackathons. We only do it once a year. This is only our second one. We used to do them, I know in San Francisco, uh, when Brenda was leading our, our chapter there, we did some in-person ones. Uh, but we this is our second ever virtual one and we sort of love it because of all the reasons we mentioned of everyone's lives and things and kind of not letting go of that intimidation factor of walking into a big room and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we hope you enjoy it too. Yeah, and um, the way we do these is is pretty special, I think. Um, a lot of hackathons that you might go to, they don't have all the pre-programming and the talk tracks during, but we really wanna set you up for success here. So that's why we've built so much programming and education around it. And also, cause that's what we do at GDI. Uh, we wanna make that available to you. So it's definitely a really special event. Um, and because of that, it doesn't happen that often. So I really hope that we'll see you there and we'll see you at demo day. Cool. All right. Well, we can wrap this up. And if anyone else has questions, I'll stick around for a minute um, and answer anything else that pops in. But we're so excited that you did the first step. You've come to the info session. Congratulations. Step one done. Um, we will see you in our upcoming sessions and then on the 16th. Thanks, everyone. Cool. Okay, I don't see any questions.